Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another vlog. In today's vlog we'll be covering how to tighten loose joints and how to loosen tight joints. Now first and foremost, I want to say thank you to absolutely everyone who left a comment on the previous vlog. Based on all the tips you guys left in the comment section, I'm going to demo three different techniques two techniques for loosening joints and one technique for tightening joints. Now I have never personally tried these techniques out before, so I'm gonna actually live demo these and we'll all get to see how effective they are. Hopefully these techniques are permanent fixes. If not, I guess we'll have to do another vlog and figure out another way to find a permanent fix for our figures. So now let's go ahead and get started and see if we can loosen some tight joints and tighten some loose joints. Here is our setup. In this vlog, I'm going to demo three different techniques. To loosen tight joints, it seems two of the most popular methods to do that is to actually use either dishwashing liquid or a form of shock oil. Now, I bought this in place of WD-40 because I could not find a small bottle of it, so I bought this simple generic version. The absolute most popular way of tightening loose joints is to use this Pledge Floor Care finish here. So as you can see, the figures we're using for the tight joints, we have both of my Kamen Rider Amazon figures, one that's broken and one that's still intact. And then to fix the loose joints, we have our Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version figure and also our Ultra Act Ultraman Gaia Supreme figure. The first technique we're going to try when it comes to loosening joints is the use of dishwashing liquid. Now, I have never done this before, and it's the main reason why I broke out my other Kamen Rider Amazon figure, because I was pretty skeptical about this method. So we're going to go ahead and try this out and see what happens. So I have some on my Q-tip here. We're going to open up that joint, and I guess we'll just try to get it in there as best we possibly can. Um, hopefully this works out. Let me zoom in just... A little bit so you can see what we're doing here. Now this joint is extremely tight and I hope it's getting in there. I'm using this Q-tip. This may not be the best way to go about it, but we'll just kind of, oh wow. That's seeming to work almost instantly. Let's see. Oh wow. That really works. This is very cool. So um, right off the bat, it looks like Dishwashing liquid will do the trick. I'm really surprised at how well this works. As you guys can see, I did not have to put a lot in there and it seemed to work right away. So that's definitely very cool. So that's nice it moves around like that. So now we'll go ahead and try the other method and see what happens. For the second method of loosening tight joints, we're gonna try out the shock oil method here. So I have my generic version of WD-40 and I'm going to apply it to the joints here and hopefully this will loosen Kamen Rider Amazon's legs up. So I'm gonna to try to apply this in two different ways. The first way we'll try on a Q-tip and we'll actually demo this on the right leg and then the other method using one of these floss picks on the left leg. So let's go ahead and grab our oil here and I'm going to unscrew this cap if it's open, it's open. And we'll just put a little bit on here. I don't know if you have, so you can see it's kind of spurting out there. So we got that. We'll put that lid back on. It seems pretty leaky. And we'll just go ahead and um, just rub it in here. And hopefully that'll run down through the joint. Hopefully I'm not overdoing it. Let's put that in there. This definitely um, has a strong smell to it, so make sure you guys are in a properly ventilated area. So I'm putting that in there, kind of swirling around. I'm sure it's running all the way through. So now we'll just move this left to right. Okay, I can see it's still tight, but it's moving better than it did before. We're just kind of working that in. Oh, wow. That really works. So you guys got some great tips there. So we can keep this all in focus. So as you can see, that leg is kicking better. I can still feel a little bit of friction or resistance in there, but 
think might just need to apply just a little bit more, but I don't really know the best way to get in there with it. So I use the Q-tip on this leg. So for on this other leg, we'll do it in a more proper way. So what I'm gonna do is we'll try to mess around with, we'll do the floss picks versus using this actual thumbtack. I more so use this when it comes to using super glue. So you can see that's pretty coated with super glue on the end because I use this quite a bit. But let's stick with our floss pick. So what I'm gonna do, kind of focus all this here. I'm going to put some more of our fake WD-40 on here. So we can get a little drizzle on there. Okay. And now we'll grab our figure and you know I can actually pinpoint this or really cram this in there and see if we can get some stuff going around. I don't think this is gonna work all that well. I really don't want to drop this in there, but you don't wanna to put too much. So let me go back to the Q-tip method. I think it would have been better if I had an eyedropper to do this. As you can see, just to be more precise, but we'll just use another Q-tip because again, I'm sure you don't wanna to get too much in here. So let's see if we can, whoops, kind of spurting everywhere. Got that, so now let's try this and put this in here. Now this is taking me back doing this live because I used to do my reviews live and from the hip, kind of freestyling the commentary, and now what I do is I record my audio separately and do some manual demos there. So see if we can get this in. Looks like that's running down through there. Whoops, make sure that's on camera. Let's see if we can Zoom in to focus this so you can see if we can get some better light here. There we go. Kind of focus this there. And I'm just taking this Q-tip and I am just rubbing it in there. Get it nice and lubed up. See what happens. So we'll just work the leg around. Kick forward. Now I still feel a little bit of resistance, but I think what it is is it's just gotta work its way around. But now, I have a properly functioning Common Rider Amazon figure. I wish I would have known how to do this when I first started collecting. That way I would not have had to buy another Amazon figure. So, as we can see guys, both the dish washing liquid method and the shock oil method works when it comes to loosening tight joints, so it's definitely very cool. Very glad to see this work so well. So very nice in the first leg here, getting even better. So definitely very cool there. This is very nice. Yeah, that's really working out. So definitely very cool. So now let's go ahead and test out how to tighten loose joints. To tighten loose joints, I'm going to use the most popular method you guys told me to use, and that is using this pledge Floor care finish here. So this product apparently has several different labels, but if it looks like this, you should be in the clear, so be sure to pick this up. Also, it smells really good. So who we're gonna work on today for the tightening, the loose joints, is our Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version figure. Now, in the past, I thought I found a Surefire fix. I'll pop these legs off here. I actually tried to make the legs tighter by using super glue, but as you can see, that's just kind of worn out and now Ultraman is back to being good old Spaghetti Man. So now we'll try this Pledge Floor Care Finish Method. So let's see if we can try to keep this all in focus and zoom in. So we'll get our paper towel here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Q-tips again. So here in this little container, I have my furniture polish. So we're gonna get our Q-tip nice and saturated. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply this in the joint. Now I just put a lot in there. Just put that in there. And then on the figure here, what I'll do is put this down. I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can see this. I guess I'll try to coat the ball joint maybe. Because I don't really want this to get into the hip hinge, but I guess it wouldn't hurt because uh, this hip hinge isn't loose on my figure, but I guess if everything's tight, that'd be cool. 
So let's see if we can do that on both sides. Excuse me, that's out of focus. We'll see if it keeps on focus. So we'll just coat that some. Get just a little bit more, coat that up. If this doesn't work, it really doesn't matter because if he remains a spaghetti-legged Ultraman, then I'll go ahead and hang him up on his Golgotha cross because I need to go ahead and buy the other Ultra Brothers over again so I can hang them up on their crosses and have a very nice display with that. So now we have, I just coated this leg, but this leg has been coated, so maybe it's had time to dry a little bit, so we'll see if we can just reattach this. Whoops, if this doesn't pop around. So we got that leg in there. And then this leg, we'll go ahead and attach that back on. And we'll just let this stuff dry because it still feels a little sticky. Now for my Gaia Supreme figure, he's fine, but it's just that his upper chest is awfully loose and it's just, you know, floppy. So we'll just pull him apart and we'll go ahead and coat the socket as well as the joints. So we've got a Q-tip here. We're going to dab that into the socket there so he can zoom in here and we'll get this and then you can peep my dab. There you go. And then do a little swirl there too. Dab and swirl. And then we'll grab the upper torso and we'll go ahead and coat that ball joint. So swing it around, around, and around, and around, just like that. And then we'll just kind of give this a few seconds and we'll just snap it back together and see how well that dries and works, but it already seems a little bit more firm. So now we're back. It has been 20 minutes since I've actually applied the Pledge Floor Care Finish to both these figures. Now first, for Ultraman Gaia Supreme, the upper torso issue where it was loose is now tight, which is pretty cool. It's not super tight, but it is 10 times better than how it was originally, so this is not floppy in the least bit at all, which is very nice there. Now for my Ultraman Renewal version figure, it looks like I might need to apply another coat. Now the legs are nice and tight, which is definitely very cool, but I notice now the hip joint is also an issue, so I probably need to apply more of this floor care finish into the hip joints, but as a whole, it looks like the Pledge floor care finish method works very well, so it's very nice. So now let's go ahead and conclude this vlog. As you can see, all the techniques you guys suggested seem to work out very fine. I must admit, I really cannot get over how fast that dishwashing liquid method worked. That was definitely very cool. I hope these techniques are permanent fixes, but I guess only time will tell. In a future vlog, we'll check back in on those figures and see how well those techniques held up after maybe a month or two. Again, guys, I want to say thank you to absolutely everyone who left a comment in the previous vlog detailing how they fixed their loose joints and fixed their tight joints. Be sure to leave your collecting related question in the comments section of this video or on the Facebook fan page. This has been a vlog by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see the previous review or the previous vlog, click the links on screen. Be sure to like the Facebook fan page, add me on Jimmer, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe.